Beyond Red and Blue, What to Do. This segment is on undocumented workers and their families. It's time to have a new conversation. It's time to stop referring to people as illegal aliens. It's even time to stop referring to them as undocumented workers. It's time for us to claim them as citizens. Citizens now, undocumented citizens, but citizens nonetheless. This reminds me a great deal of the dilemma that we faced in the LGBT community, where in our seeking of marriage equality, we didn't wait until the courts, until the laws told us that our relationships were marriages. We took the high road. We started having ceremonies. I had my first ceremony back in 1983. And what happened is that eventually society began to accept and to embrace our relationships as marriages because we weren't making any distinctions about them. So by the time they got to be legal, people had already been accustomed to that's who we were. The fact of the matter is that these individuals, so many of them that we are calling undocumented, are already citizens. For every single category that we could possibly imagine that we would want a citizen to be, that's what they're doing. Even the fact that we're referring to them as workers, people who are contributing to the economy, because we know that without their presence, our whole economy would collapse. We're talking about our sisters. We're talking about our brothers. We are talking about people who have married into families. We're talking about our neighbors, people that go to our churches, people who go to our schools, people who work next door to us, people that we see on the, in, in the streets and in the stores. And right now, they're afraid. They're really, really afraid. They're not only afraid of the administration, they're afraid of everybody around them because they don't know who to trust. It's time to have a new conversation. And just like with marriage equality, it took heterosexual people, it took non-gay people to take that status and that privilege that they had as being legally married and to share that and to expand that and to say, I recognize those relationships as equal to the legal marriage that I have. And that is what is incumbent upon us. us. Those of us who are documented citizens, we need to claim and share that status of citizenship that we have with those who are doing everything a citizen should be doing and in not talking about it as pathways to citizenship, but talk about it as pathways to documentation. What can we do to get all of our citizens the documentation that they need? That's a different conversation than what do we do or should these people be citizens or not? Claim them as citizens now. Furthermore, I would like to see in every county, in every community, some sort of a rally, some sort of a showing where those people who are legal citizens come together in support and say, we're with you, we be, we're behind you, we see you, we are your allies, and we are not going to stand around and watch you be denigrated let alone deported. Let's change the conversation.